Hey everybody! Today is recipe number three in recipes from cake mixes. And this one we're going to be using a chocolate cake mix and it is going to be called peanut butter candy cookies. What is not to love about that? So first thing you're going to do is put in your cake mix into a bowl. To this you're going to add one half cup of peanut butter, one quarter cup of butter softened, which essentially means room temperature, one quarter cup of milk, two eggs, and blend this up. Okay, to this you're going to stir in one and a half cups of candy, candy coated chocolate pieces or chocolate chips. And what I've done here is I've mixed uh, Canadian Smarties, which are like M&M's. They are candy coated chocolate and half chocolate chips. So about three quarters of a cup of each and you're going to stir that in. There's your dough. Then you're going to put them on an ungreased cookie sheet. I like using parchment paper because it's just easier with cleanup. And you're going to drop them onto the cookie sheet using a heaping spoonful. I'm using my little cookie scoop, which works really well. I don't know how much these are going to spread, so I'm going to leave a good amount of space in between them here. The recipe says to flatten them a bit, so if that indeed is true, usually when a recipe asks you to flatten cookies, it's because they don't spread very much. We'll see. Now this part is optional, you can sprinkle on some chopped nuts of your choice, peanuts, or in this case I've got a few, um, in this case I've got some roasted chopped almonds. I'm just going to do a few with the nuts. And you bake these at 350 degrees for 8 to 11 minutes until they're golden brown. And I'll let you see what they look like when they're done. Here we go. Well, there they are. They took about 11 minutes actually before the bottom turned brown, as you can see here. Um, they're very squishy in the middle. I don't know if they're a tiny bit underbaked, but we'll see. And give them a try when I'll let you know. So there they are. And they spread just a little tiny bit, so the space I left between them was perfect. These cookies turned out really good. I was concerned that they might get stale after a couple of days, but I think under baking them just a tiny bit actually made them very moist and very chewy, and they've actually stayed moist and it's been almost uh, three days after the fact. So I was very happy with these cookies. They're very good. Enjoy.